What's up everybody and welcome back to the next matchup in the Clash Masters playoffs. Today we got Queen Walkers versus a Philly on Esport and whoever wins this match will stay in the tournament. Whoever loses will be eliminated. This is a double elimination playoffs bracket. And both these teams have already lost one match. So we got Stadra of Queen Walkers coming in with the first attack here with a little Pee Wee Wee action. His favorite attack strategy, as usual, he's going to start with that Warden Walk there on the top side of the base. Okie dokie. Warden's going to be able to snipe the scatter shot. We're going to rage him up just to make sure he stays alive, gets through it all in um, a good amount of time as well. Scatter shot will go down. There's the first wall break over here on the 1030 side of the base. Another wall break over there closer to the Eagle Artillery. Our Grand Warden did get the scatter and it looks like he's going to try to snipe the Royal Champion as well. And he does nice value right there from Stadra. Costed us a freeze, but he's able to get, a, get her down. Now, this has taken quite a bit of time. Only a minute and 56 left to go. He uses the invis to redirect the expo fire over to the Archer Queen. Okay, that was interesting. We're going to send the king on the outside of the base. All the peckers are in. Log launcher through the middle of the base. We're going to freeze up that expo because it was doing a lot of damage to our queen. Super wizards, Coco loons, everybody making their way inside. Couple of normal witches behind the king. We try to funnel the cannon, but a Tesla farm pops up at 7:30. Rip that baby dragon. Still holding on to this warden ability. Lots of ice golems that we still have to deal with from the enemy CC. We're gonna send that road champion from the left side of the base to help assist, push the kill squad through the core of the base. The log launcher needs to get open one more wall, and it does. Beautiful. We have access all the way to the town hall. Got a jump spell just in case we need it, but honestly, we might not even need it. If RC clears that left multi, the jump spell is basically swag. We'll see, though. Yeti's coming out of our log launcher. They're going to be able to help take out that single. Peckers that were beaten on a wall for like two and a half minutes. Finally going to make their way into the core. Help assist the queen and warden toward the town hall side of the base. Nope, he's going to go up for a wizard tower. Okay. RC clears everything on the south side, so we really don't need the jump. We're going to use it up top to help the P.E.K.K.A. The healer switch over to the P.E.K.K.A. Yo, we got a P.E.K.K.A. charge on the top side of the base. Hey, yo. RC finds the tornado trap here on the bottom side. She's going to do a little disco dance action. She's going to end up getting all those defenses. Grab the mortar. She'll end up working her way up top. Help assist the queen and the warden here, but only 30 seconds to go time could be an issue we're gonna pop that queen ability rc is gonna go up Ooh, don't tell me time fails come on we got minions and party wizard on the south side minion on the left for the storage only 17 seconds to go still got the builder hut to worry about rc is gonna go take that out queen's just beating on a wall pekka and archer on the right side why is the wizard at six beating on a wall hello can anybody explain that don't tell me that's why he 99s okay he doesn't Whew. Three seconds to spare. It's a triple. Nobody had a doubt. First attack for a Philly on Eastport. We got Shoya coming in with a little tribrid action here against Stars' base. Lots of air spam from the top right side of the base. Here we go. Queen over from 330. She's going to walk down. We're going to blimp the town hall, probably in the warden ability. Yep, there goes the battle blimp. Nice early freeze. Skeleton spells all over the place to help distract. Warden ability is in. Battle Blimp should get there unless some crazy tornado action. Nope, no tornado trap to stop it. We're going to invest the rage spell. There's the NATO. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, sir. I think we still get it. Down goes the town hall. A heal spell in the core. Queen's still working downtown toward the Eagle Artillery. We don't have any wall breakers for her, unfortunately. King gets way out in front. Uh, we still got a couple freezes and a skelly spell to use with the Royal Champion, I guess. We're going to try to freeze the Eagle, except we missed the Eagle. That was a wasted freeze, unfortunately. Queen's still looking healthy. Where are we going to send the Royal Champion? I don't see her. CC, tru CC building is down, so we could send the Royal Champion anywhere he fancies. King died on the left side of the base. Queen's going to have to pop her ability soon. We're going to invest the Royal Champion in combination with the Queen to hopefully they can help tank for each other and keep one another alive. We're going to use the last freeze. We're going to pop that Queen ability. RC, we're going to pop her ability early to get rid of half the Tesla farm. Skelly Trap pops, but she got the scatter shot down. Warden's still alive with a bunch of air targeting, or air targeting, air troops, and this base is crushed. With 90 seconds to spare. Holy crap. Beautifully done from a Finland eSport to tie things up. Three stars apiece. Next attacker for Queen Walkers is going to be Mr. Gaku himself. Coming in with a little Queen Charge Dragon Rider action. Okie dokie. We're going to start with the Queen over at 2 o'clock. We do have two wall breakers here. Where does he want her to go? Are we going to wall break directly in for the Eagle? Or are we going to try to skip it? He's not really doing any funneling yet. 
Makes me think he's gonna try to skip the eagle at first. There goes the Coco Loon. Healer's on the queen. She should walk up because we're not funneling up there. Rage Bell to ensure she gets through the enemy queen with no problem whatsoever. Down she goes for the count. We're gonna skip that eagle. She's gonna walk up toward the north. Where are we gonna use these wall breakers? There goes the first one to give us access to the multi. Does he want the queen to go in there? Or do we want the king to go in there though? It's hard to tell. No jump spells on this attack. Queen might go inside this awkward channel here. Is she gonna do what he wants? We're gonna use the invis. Ooh, does that force queen the right way? The invis might've been early. The invis was too early. That's a swag invis. Queen dives through the ability? Oh no, yikes. <clears throat> We're gonna drop the RC up top. We get a partial CC pool, just two ice golems. Okay, dokie. We're gonna freeze up. Need the RC to hurry up and take out the multi before she switches targets to the ice golems, and she does, thankfully. We're gonna invest the poison spell, even though it's just two, and there's probably one more ice golem in there. The queen charge has turned into an RC charge. This is looking real sketchy. There's the third ice golem. We do still have another two rages that we could use for this Royal Champion. I think he's got a party wizard up top, couple minions as well. Eagle Artillery wakes up, shooting our Royal Champion. Do we invest another rage to keep her alive? He could. Already used her ability. He's going to let her die. Okay. King and Wallbreaker from the left side of the base going in toward the air defense. Healers are going to go up top for that party wizard. That party wizard might be able to kill the ice golem. I think he will. Nice. Dragon Riders from the right side. He still has a Log Launcher currently activated. We'll see if he switches that to a blimp or something else to go for this Town Hall. Is he expecting King to take out the Town Hall at this point? This could be really sketchy. King's gonna peace out all the way to the left side of the base. Rip. We're gonna have to invest the Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. He does switch to the Battle Blimp, okie dokie. And at this point, we're just trying to get as much percent as possible. It's super unfortunate that Queen dies to the ability like that. Where's he going to use the Battle Bloom? We already popped this Warden ability on the right side of the base. Double Scatter Shock, though, is going to be pretty deadly on us. The Warden's on 1 HP. As soon as the, his ability expires, he's probably going to die. Down he goes. A couple Dragon Riders are going to follow suit as well. The Town Hall drops. Thankfully, we had a Rage Spell to save for that. But that Dragon Rider on the left is going to get absolutely toasted by the single target Inferno Tower. One more Dragon Rider still in the bag to deploy. 25 seconds to go. We're going to deploy it on the left side of the base. Drop the Coco Loon afterward. All right. Air Defense is going to snipe our Dragon Rider, and we're going to fall short just above the, what, 75% mark? Yikes. Nice try to Gaku, but that is a massive defense for a Philly on Esport. Oh, man. Not sure what he was expecting his queen to do there, but she, she dies through the ability. Not good news. We're going to get, what, 76 as we run out of time. Seo is in with the next attack for a Philly on Esport. Coming in with a little more Tribrid action. Two Rocket Loons on this one. Okie dokie. With a heal. Four Skellies. A Rage and five Freezes. That's a lot of Freezes. Some Rocket Loons from the left side of the base to snipe that air defense right away. Inferno Baby in behind. Okie dokie. What's next? Try to funnel the Mortar at 2.30, but the Tesla pops and cancels that funnel. Inferno... Ooh! Lots of burps. Excuse me, dude. Inferno Baby on the left side of the base getting some good value. <laughs> Sorry. Lots of dragons in from the bottom. Queen to walk from 6 over toward 3 o'clock. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Nice and early Warden ability. Battle Blimp's gonna make it all the way to the Town Hall. We got the Rage Spell for that. Free spell on the right, free spell on the left. Alrighty. Still got the heal spell that we can use in the core. There's the first skelly spells to help distract. Town Hall did drop. Lots of Inferno Babies in the range of that Giga Poison, though. They're going to go down early. Rip. There goes the heal spell. That might have been a little late. I'm not sure. King out in front of the queen. We got a freeze in the core. What's next, though? We don't have any wall breakers for the king and queen to get access to the Eagle Artillery compartment. That could have been a nice touch. So the Royal Champion to deploy. He needs to wait until the Clan Castle building is dead, though, because there's probably a Lava Dog in there. He already sent the Royal Champion, though, into the Eagle. Ooh. This could get a little spicy. Another freeze in the core. We already used all the skellies. All we got left is one freeze. King and Queen ability. RC might end up pulling a Lava Dog out here, because I don't think we're going to get anything to take out the core multi. Oh, this is looking really rough for Aphelion. Ooh. Just as they get a really good defense... <clears throat> Queen Walkers are also about to get a really good defense. The Lava Dog does indeed come out. That's about to make the party real interesting. Core Multi still up. It's killing everything. Both the Royal Champion and the Queen stuck on the Lava Dog. And the Scattershot can reach the Royal Champion. Ooh. No Poison Spell to help assist. We do have a Freeze, but really not much we can do with it. Maybe to help the Queen get a couple more buildings with her ability, but that's about it. How much percent... The Queen Walkers get on the last one, 76. So Affiliate Esports already in the lead. 
but we're going to be tied on stars after the second round of attacks. How much percent can this queen get? Do we pop the ability first or do we freeze first? What do you guys think is the better option? And looks like he's going to go for the... No, he's going to go for the freeze. Save the ability just a little bit longer. Currently at 84 and climbing. As long as she doesn't die through the ability, you should be able to get close to 90. There goes the ability. One building, two building, three building. She should get two more, I think, for 90. Maybe 91, maybe 92. How much can she get? That unicorn's tanking the scatter. Queen's still alive because of that. Down goes that building for 91, and she's going to die right there. Ooh, gets the cannon for 92%. Next attack is going to be from Miss Stars. Coming in with a little more blizzard dragon rider bat action he loves to do this lately he's been doing it a lot let's see how he's gonna do it here against co's base where does he start with the blizzard bro this is like an old school legends league base isn't it Ugh, i think so excuse me he's got three party wizards to help out with this attack as well here comes the hound and the blimp from the left side of the base is he going for the town hall or the scatter shot he invested the hound so i think he's going all the way for the town hall yeah it looks like he is Gonna pop it right there. Hello, giant bomb, but the super wizard should survive. Invis is in. Rage spell is in. Down goes the town hall. The splash damage already killed the enemy headhunters. We're also gonna be able to take out the enemy hound. Can we get all the pups? Might not get all of them. because Some of them are staying far away. He's still investing those invis spells. He really wants the expo, I guess. Can he reach that expo? I think he can, but they're not gonna get it. Rip. Expo stays up. We're gonna pull the pups to the left side of the base. Drop the archer queen right away, because why not? Still got the poison spell, but we don't really need it. Could save it for enemy heroes. That'd be good. King from the left. Queen from the left. Do we expect King to go in for the scatter? Because I don't think he is. No, RC is going to get the scatter. Okay, Yak goes in the scatter compartment, but King doesn't. Nice AI. Does Queen even go inside? No. She's going outside. Was that part of the plan? Yeah, I think it was because he still has a wall breaker. Yo, stars OP. King pops his ability, gets the Inferno Tower and the enemy Royal Champion. RC is going all the way to the core. We still have her ability. She should be able to clear the single because of that, right? One shot, two shot, three sh No. Ooh, she barely gets that single down. Nice. Wall breaker to give Queen access to the Eagle Artillery. We could just go ahead and start the Dragon Riders from the south side of the base in combination with the Queen if he wanted to. That giant was like 10 years late. Queen's already going to have to pop her ability. There's the first Dragon Rider from the right side of the base. Queen ability is going to be popped. Eagle Artillery should drop. Here come all the Dragon Riders. Headhunters. Early as heck Warden ability. Rage spell is in. Now it's a little awkward with the pathing here. We're not trying to like start from the bottom and swing our way around. He's starting right in between all the defenses, which is interesting. All the bats there on the top side of the base. It's only three bat spells, so not like a crazy amount of bats. Dragon Riders are going to take out the Scatter on the right, so we still don't have to freeze for the bats. Might be worth it to just freeze the Eagle if we have to. He's still trying to hold on to those freezes. Save him for the Wizard Tower, I guess. There goes the first freeze for the Eagle. Only got one freeze left. Still got a ton of Dragon Riders alive. All the bats thin out and die. Rip. When you only use three bats, they die pretty quickly. We're going to freeze the Eagle again, except we missed the Eagle! Stars! Oh, that's a swag freeze. Oh, gosh. Warden got absolutely blacked in the face. Bro, this is a defense. What the? I felt like this was going so well. What happened? Maybe you should have done Lalo instead of the Dragon Riders, bro. Those Dragon Riders got wrecked. The Eagle did a lot of damage. Red Bomb's in the core. Down go the minions. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be high percent, but not a three star. The Eagle stays up. The Tesla stay up. A couple of defenses behind that as well. The little owl that could is trying his best to grab as much percent as possible, but the Eagle is going to kill him. And we're going to fall short here at 93%. Rip. Next attack from a feline esports is going to be by Garakuta. Coming in with a little uh, Queen Charge Rider action with a jump spell on this one. Okie dokie. We're going to start with the Queen here on the right side. Lots of Teslas right away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Teslas are hitting his healers. That's not good news. She's stuck on a Skelly Trap as well. Did he already lose a healer? I think he did. What are they shooting? Yeah, they are shooting a healer. He's going to invest the freeze right there. Did they switch targets to the queen? No. Down goes one healer. Rip. That's okay. We still got four, I guess. Need to make sure we use our Coca Loon so we don't lose any more healers on top of that, though. We're going to blunt the town hall super early. Was that too early? Yo, is this the same base that Boom did that crazy OP queen charge against? It is. Is he trying to do the same attack? No, because he's blimping the town hall. I wonder why they would use the same base, and I wonder why he wouldn't do the same OP charge. I don't know. 
but okay. Town Hall goes down. We got the CC pool. Queen's going to deal with that. King clears the entire southern compartment, which is nice. Hopefully we don't get an unwanted healer swap. I don't think we should. Multi still damaging the queen. A few pups as well. Poison spell is in to help assist. We got the jump spell for the queen. Not sure where he's going to use it. Do we dare send another Coco Loon? There goes the next Coco Loon. Help make sure these healers are going to stay alive. Some of them are very low on HP. Coco Loon doesn't find any traps. Okay. Dragon Rider's in from the southwest side of the base. Jump spell's in for the queen. She won't be able to reach the single target in front of tower on the right. But she will be able to gut the entire core. If we can keep her alive. Headhunters are in. Rage spell. Warden ability. Nice. Enemy king and queen should go down very quickly thanks to that rage. We're going to use the invis on the queen. But she was at like full health. What the heck? That felt like swag. Free spell on the left. RC's in from the left as well. Still got another rage and two freezes on the board. We're going to lose all the healers to traps. Maybe that's why they re-ran the base. Maybe they're expecting this attack and they're able to kill all the healers. We're going to pop that queen ability. Free spell in. We got one more freeze on the top side. Still got the single target in front of tower to worry about. Is he going to get this? We got the RC ability. 42 seconds for cleanup. Queen's going to go down to the single. Dragon Rider's going to go down as well. We got the RC ability. Can that carry us through? Down goes the air defense. I think he's got it. Wow. It was close. Maybe. Two Dragon Riders still alive. RC still alive. Maybe not that close. But he gets it. It's a three star as long as he has time for cleanup. And I think he does that row champion so fast. And now Affiliate Esports are going to be in the lead after the third round of attacks. They're going to be up eight stars to seven. Next attack is going to be the man, the myth, the legend himself. Klaus is in. What does he got for us? A jump spell, 12 sneakies, a golem. Okay. Five invisibilities. That's a heck of a lot. We're going with an early blimp. Is it a blizzard? It's got to be. He's going for that in compartment between the eagle and the scatter first invis is in rage spells in another triple ice golem cc interesting seeing all those second invis we can get the scatter we get the wizard we get the royal champion next invis Ooh, that was a sketchy invis bro well he got the royal champion i think he's gonna let them die after that save the other two invis for later we killed one ice golem as well that's neat we're gonna be able to easily kill the other two wall break on the top side of the base i think he's gonna sneaky the town hall yeah might need one more test one more test for traps there goes a bunch of giant bombs. Good thing he sent one more test. Here come the other sneakies for the town hall with the invisibility. Yeah. Did he drop it correctly? Yeah. Okay. Whew. Down goes the town hall. It's looking good. Queen and golem are in from the south side of the base to help assist the king. The tornado trap already got popped on the top side as well. So we don't have to worry about that later. Another couple of sneakies to funnel the king and queen. We got the wall break in toward that archer tower compartment. Then a jump spell to go somewhere. So the Royal Champion that's going to go in at 3 o'clock to help assist with the Party Wizard in behind for the trash buildings as well. Where are we going to drop the jump? I think he's going to drop it so that way he can get the left multi and the scatter shot in between both multis. Well, kind of. I mean, King's going to go for the scatter, but he won't be able to access the left multi. That was an interesting jump placement. Invis on the right for the Royal Champion. Down goes the right side multi. Now the King's just going to have to beat through a wall. So that's why I was questioning that jump spell. We got the Lalo coming in from the left side of the base. He's multitasking now. Early as heck, Warren ability. Sure, keep everybody alive through into the second layer of defenses. Pop this queen ability. Down goes that left side multi. Down goes the upper sweeper. Now she's going to get stuck on the enemy king. Lalo's looking a little wonky. Lava Hound's going to fly across toward the top side of the base. He still has a ton of spells. Still has eight loons in the bag. I think he's looking good. We're going to freeze in the middle. Lots of minions all over the place. 48 seconds to go. Poison spell that he doesn't really need. Bro, we got the unicorn still alive and healing loons. LOL. He's got an unpopped hound. Luckily, the single locks onto it. Don't freeze the single. We honestly want the hound to pop. And he's going to freeze anyway. But after the single's dead. LOL. Nice swag freeze right there. Loons are going to collapse on the last couple builder huts. And this base got absolutely clan clashed beautiful jump suey lalo from klaus against shoya's base is gonna get it done putting a little bit of pressure back onto affilion who need to triple again if they want to maintain their lead choco is in with the next attack for affilion esport coming in with a little inferno skybird action it looks like okie dokie got the five skellies got the rage got the heal pretty classic setup where are we going to start here against gaku's base Mm, he's taking his time to think. Got a barb and two archers to utilize as well. Where's he going to do it? 
Couple of loons here on the south side for the mortar, sure. Are we gonna blimp the town hall early? Looks like he might try to. Loons pull a couple of traps. Does the archer tower drop? We're gonna send one more loon just to make sure it goes down. Okay, he's taking his time. Slow start here. Minion in behind at six o'clock. Another balloon up at 12 o'clock. Pulls a bunch more red bombs. That's like all the red bombs in the base, dude. Rip. Tesla pops over at seven o'clock. Close to the town hall. Inferno baby on the right. We're gonna blimp with a warden ability, I guess. Send all the air spam from the bottom right. There goes an outside Sam. Kills one of our Inferno babies. Why did he use those balloons at 12 though? Those felt swagged. Inferno babies are in from the bottom right either way. Probably gonna see the queen and the king over here on the right side of the base to walk up toward the eagle. I mean, toward the top side Inferno. We got a core eagle. This is a very interesting base. You don't see that every day. Battle blimp for the town hall. Is it going to get there? Where's the tornado? Mm, preemptive rage. Tornado's on the outside of the base. Okay. Down goes the town hall. Queen and king are indeed going to walk up. We do have the wall breaker. Oh, he tried to wall break, but it failed? I guess I missed that. The wall breaker failed. That's why he was using the balloons on top for the cannon, I guess. But the red bombs killed them. This in general is just looking a little sketchy. Need to see if the air spam is just going to be able to power through the core. Lots of skelly spells to distract. Heal spell in the middle. We already killed the enemy archer queen, which is nice. Our queen's going to wrap around the top side of the base. Free spell on the top as well. King and queen are looking healthy. Still got the royal champion to deploy later. One inferno baby is going to go for the CC building, which is beautiful. Lava dog should never come out because of that. RC's in from the top side of the base to help assist the king and the queen. Hopefully we can keep this grand warden alive, although he got targeted by the expo. Might be worth the freeze. Nope. We're going to let the grand warden die. Our queen's going to kill the enemy royal champion. Okay. Our royal champion's going to get the scatter. Still got one more skelly and a freeze in the bag to utilize here to help keep her alive. Are we going to use them, please? Choco, use your spells. Freeze on the left for the king. We don't have his ability. We do have the RC and the queen ability. Queen's just being the worst wall breaker in the game as usual. LOL. There goes the RC ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. 42 seconds to go. We got the last skelly in. That was actually pretty nice timing to help keep the Royal Champion alive through the single target Inferno Tower. Will it do the trick? No, she gets locked onto anyway. She's going to go down. Yikes, this is looking sketchy now. King's going to get the gold storage. Can he get the at least one Tesla as well? Queen's going to have to beat through another wall. And the skelly trap to distract. Oh, no. Is this going to be a time fail, dude? Oh, we kill all the skellies. Queen's gonna have to pop her ability. She's wrapping around the left side. She doesn't have to pop her ability. She just barely gets outside the range. We're at 99. Another skelly trap pops. Eight, seven, six. Ooh, does she get it? She's wrapping around five, four, three, two, one second to spare. And it's a three star for a filly on eSport. Yuta 14 in with the final attack for Queen Walkers. They are down by a star and a little bit of percent. They have to triple here and hope for an OP defense. And Yuta's coming in with a little queen charge dragon rider action. Two invisibility spells on this one. And he currently has a log launcher activated. We'll see if he keeps that. Queen starting here on the top side of the base. I can already see the plan. He's going to charge in toward the eagle in the multi and log launcher his queen all the way to the town hall. This is going to be spicy if it works. Balloon out in front. Healers in behind. Okie dokie. Queen's going to go inside. We can use a headhunter to help her get through the enemy king. That should be easy enough. Coco Loon found a sinking air mine. That's beautiful. We got a couple of archers to funnel over at 3 o'clock. No defenses over there, so that's an easy funnel. Headhunter to help us get through the enemy king. That's looking beautiful. We haven't had to use any spells just yet. Tell me the queen goes inside. She does. She's going to reach the eagle. We haven't even had to funnel anything on the right side for her. We're going to go ahead and invest the first rage, even though she's at full HP. That was a little questionable. She's going to work her way up closer toward that enemy queen. We're going to wall break king in over here on the right side. Log launcher behind the enemy queen. Free spell just to make sure she stays alive through the enemy queen. King's going to make his way in toward that scattershot compartment. Okie dokie. Couple more Coco Loons. Rage up the queen again. She's taking a lot of damage from all these expos. Single target Inferno Tower is heating up, but she dodges it just barely. King can pop his ability. Take out the scattershot. This is looking really good here for Yuta. As long as the healers stay on the queen. Lots of expos on her. Ooh, this is going to be awkward with the CC timing. Bro, she's going to dodge the single. She goes for the expo. We're going to have to freeze. Rage up again. We got some ice golems, thankfully, in that log launcher. They're going to be able to get out in front. Tank the single target in front of the tower. Whoo, that was looking sketchy for a second. We still got the road champion and the 
dragon riders to utilize here. The log launcher didn't bust open all the walls, but Queen will be able to reach the town hall at least. Here we go with the dragon riders and the royal champion and the warden from the east side of the base. There's a Tesla farm down south. We're going to send the headhunters. We're going to pop this warden ability. Keep everybody alive. Unfortunately, our royal champion is not inside that warden ability, but she should still be okay. We got her ability to pop anyway. Two invisibility spells in the bag. We're going to invest the last rage for the queen. Freeze the scatter shot on the bottom side for the dragon riders. Invis spell for the queen and the healers to stay alive through that annoying air defense that the queen is dodging. Hello, tornado trap. Can that reset the queen's targeting please go for the air defense oh it doesn't matter we lost all the healers rip queen still has her ability as long as the giga poison doesn't kill everybody this is looking good got the king alive on the outside of the base lol he never died giga poison takes out one dragon rider it's gonna take out the the warden as well that orange juice of death does not mess around but it's looking good for you to 14 it's a three star all day long pressure on affiliate esport they need like a 90 ish percent to secure the win. Kazuma is in with the final attack of the match. Queen Walker's finishing with 13 stars and decent percent. I think 93.8 total destruction. So a fill in Esport only need like a 90-ish percent here to secure the victory. Can they do it against Dodger's base that we're going in with the Inferno Air Spam? Okay, he's got three lightning spells, no earthquakes. We're going to invest those three lightnings for... That was a sweeper, a hut, and an air defense right behind the town hall. Okay. Inferno baby on the top left. Here comes the Inferno spam from the 10 o'clock side of the base. Queen to walk from 9 downtown. We're going to invest the king with her later on. No wall breakers to help. Battle blunt for the town hall. Early as heck war and ability. Pretty classic stuff here. Where are we going to go? Battle blimp's going to make it all the way to the town hall. Do we invest the rage? No. No spells needed whatsoever. Okay, down goes the town hall. Not a single spell needed there. Poison spell in the middle. King and queen make their way inside. Good thing it's not a lava dog because the king definitely would have pulled it. Heal spell in the middle. Free spell in the bottom. Do we have a headhunter? No, we do not. We have the royal champion, but we're going to be a little bit patient with her. Wait and deploy her later. Skeleton spells all over the bottom side to help distract the Tesla farm. Heal spell in the core was cash money value, dude. Kept all those infernal babies alive through the multi and the red bomb farm. We got the RC still to deploy. Two freezes and a skelly spell in the bag. Remember, he only needs like 90%. Dragon Riders on the top side are doing a great job of sniping all those defenses. We still have the Royal Champion to deploy. Ooh, this is looking good here for Kazuma of Affiliate Esport. Minion on the top side. We got to get through the enemy Royal Champion and the multi on the back side of the base. But with all these spells, with the Royal Champion still to deploy, this is looking crushed, dude. There goes a freeze. Keep the king alive. RC from the top side of the base. I think it's a three star all day long for Kazuma of Affiliate on Esports. Ooh, there goes the last free skeleton spell to help out as well. Got the Queen ability. Got the RC ability. Got ten and a half years on the board for cleanup, dude. This is smashed to smithereens all day long. Beautifully done from Kazuma of Affiliate on Esports. It's a three star. And just like that, they knock Queen Walkers out of the playoffs. 14 stars to 13.